The first day of school is coming up fast, so now is the perfect time to talk about vaccinations. I'm joined by uh, Dan Heller, a pharmacist with Smith. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? So what do parents uh, need to know? We're uh, just about a week away from that first day. Yeah, so back to school vaccines is a big deal. Uh, really, it, it affects parents that have children going into seventh grade. Uh, there is some requirements by the state of Nevada uh, for these children. Number one, Tdap has always been a requirement for the last 10 years. Uh, in getting that important vaccine that prevents whooping cough, tetanus, and pertussis. Uh, last year, and now we're going into the second year of a mandate to make sure that parents are getting meningitis for those same children going into seventh grade, the meningitis vaccine. Uh, and we also encourage one uh, other a third vaccine that isn't required, but a very important vaccine to prevent cancer and an HPV vaccine. Is it ever hard uh, trying to convince the kids to sit down for these shots? Any uh, advice for parents on that front? You know, for children going into seventh grade, they're, they're not as squirmy as the four-year-olds. So luckily, they're, they're pretty resilient uh, going into seventh grade. But to talk about that, it's, it feels like a pinprick or a pinch uh, and let them know that you're going to have some arm soreness and they're fine usually after that. <laughs> I know. I always hated shots. So even my grown mom, who's a nurse, hates getting shots. I'm putting you a little bit on the spot, but do you know, are there also uh, vaccinations needed for back to school college on the college level? Uh, typically college will have those requirements listed out with their student health, but it'll be meningitis again uh, as a requirement. Uh, they'll look to see that they had the Tdap, hepatitis B, usually maybe hep A. So there's, there's quite a few that college campuses will have as well. And where do you kind of recommend people go to get these uh, vaccinations? Uh, well, pharmacy is becoming the number one spot now to get vaccines for mm -hmm. anything, anyone in the community. Uh, I would prefer it be Smith's Pharmacies, but if not, any pharmacy, your health care provider can give the vaccines you need. Uh, the Southern Nevada Health District is a very good location to get vaccines as well, and that's where I would start with those. And then you mentioned there was a change recently in what's required for vaccinations, or has it been pretty steady for a while? As far as middle, going into middle school? Yeah, that one. Uh, it was pretty steady until last year they added meningitis vaccine to the mix, which is very important because meningitis is devastating, devastating disease. Well, so it hadn't been required before then. What was the thinking there? Well, meningitis is not that common, and so uh, there, the thinking was, oh, we have to balance this out. We're not, we don't have a very common illness, but we do have one that is very deadly. Uh, if you get meningitis, there's, there's a very good chance you could die from it or have a very debilitating condition resulting from it. And so the state just said, we got to look at the risk and balances and say, let's just, we have a vaccine to prevent this disease. Let's just make it a mandate because we don't want to see our children die from meningitis. Sounds like there, uh, especially if you're going in middle school, that area, there's a few you need to get. Uh, when's the good time to go do this? I'm sure you don't want to put it off to the last moment, right? No, all summer typically uh, or leading from January going into into the next school year is an absolutely fine time. You don't want to put it off too late because the school is very strict on this. Uh, if you do not show that record in our state vaccine registry, they will make you, they will, they'll not let you enter into classrooms. Uh, so it takes a little time once the vaccine's given to enter that information into the uh, WebIZ, which is our state vaccine registry. And once that happens, then they're good to go. Do you know, is it a series of shots or just the one time for all of them? So for, for Tdap, it's one shot. Meningitis is one shot. The HPV one, the one that prevents uh, cancers for uh, boys and girls, uh, that one is a two dose, depending on the age, or three dose if you get a little bit later in life. And what do you say finally uh, to parents who, who, you know, they need to get these vaccinations to the kids? Uh, any advice for them? Uh, number one, check and make sure you're up to date and that your children are up to date. And the CDC or the Center for Disease Control, cdc.org, has a great schedule for viewing for parents to make sure you're, you themselves and their children are up to date. And number two, be an advocate. Uh, vaccines have prevented millions of diseases uh, and uh, much, much illness in our country. And we don't want to let uh, naysayers per se uh, get the wrong word out there. We want to all be advocates for something that's done so much for our communities. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Dan. Good information as we head back to school. We'll be right back.